a video demonstration of Lee's anastomosis. The key part of his non-tube no fasting fast track program for resectable esophageal carcinoma by Professor Yin Li. The posterior esophageal and the posterior of the stomach are put together. Four stitches of a vacuum are interrupted for zipping sutures are placed at A1 to A4 spots, also shown in Figure 1a. The between the muscularis layer of the esophagus and the gastric zero muscular layers to reinforce the posterior lateral wall of the anastomotic orifice. A2 and A3 spots. The last suture was placed at A4 spot. Mosquito forceps was used to hang the suture to defy the corners of the layers and obtain optimal wheel. The goiter retractors were removed. A three-leaf clap was used to fix the esophageal stump and gastric conduit to facilitate the suture procedure. A myotomy of the esophageal muscularis 0.5 cm above the three-leaf clap was made at the anastomotic side. And the swept for the one centimeter proximally will keep the submucosa and the mucosa intact. The esophageal muscularis and the gastric zero muscular layer were sewed together. This was a first suture in one side. A mosquito for steps to hang the suture and defy the corner. Since the two layers were so with seven to eight stitches have interrupted for the ring silk sutures. The last suture also hung by mosquito for saps. The other side of the muscularis layer of the esophagus was opened. Swept an additional 1.5 cm in the same way as before to create a 1.5 to 2 cm wide mucosal sleeve. An iode for disinfection goes was used to maintain sterilization. The esophageal mucosa was transected sharply, thus creating the proximal match of the esophagus. The gastric zero muscular layer was caught at the anastomosis position. An additional one centimeter was swept distally in the same way as for the esophagus. The gastric mucosa layer was opened, and to keep a suction aside, a gastric content was cleaned by suction. A full zero vacuum was used to create the mucosa anastomosis. The virus suture was adopted at each of the ends. A mosquito forceps was used to hang the four zero vacuum. Continuous sutures were used to carry out the mucosal anastomosis for the mucosal layers of the esophagus and stomach. To avoid the transgulation of the tissue, each bit of the stitches was placed approximately 3 mm deep and 3 mm apart evenly without pulling the sutures to tie.
The wireless suture was adopted at 9 o'clock set. Cutting the former thread and hanging the full zipping wire using mosquito forceps. Continuous sutures was also used for this stud. The three leaf clap was released, and the anterior muscular layer of the esophagus and the zero muscular layer of the stomach was suturated using four zeroing silk interrupted stitches. So, various sutures on both of these sides. the same depth and distance as mentioned before. A linear stapler 1.5 to 2.5 cm above the anastomosis was used to cut the reductant gastric conduit. A porous string suture was placed at this end. And the suturing continued. Continuous for the Wiker suture was used to enhance the cutting edge. I out for disinfection. The reductant gastric conduit was embedded in the gastric conduit cavity using the forceps and fingers. A gastric wolf was created to prevent acid reflux. Two forcing silk stitches were tied at the A5 and A6 positions between the gastric zero muscular layers and the outer layer of the esophageal muscularis for the found application and the anastomotic anterolateral was reinforced. I out for this infection was cried out. The mediastinal drainage tube was placed to the left side. The garter retractors were removed. The incision was approximately 3 cm long. The surgical scar of the left cervical incision